Let's try that again. <laughs> Frontiers, people. See, that's better. I travel from England and everything. <laughs> um, I was asked. Um, I talk, got talking to PPK, and he said we're doing a kind of in-depth JavaScript conference, something where there's we're gonna, not going to do beginner stuff. What do you want to talk about? And I said I talk about closures because nobody understands them, right? I mean, so what I what I want to do here is. I'm going to go over um, some of the basics, some intermediate stuff. Uh, is Dean in here or is he in the other room? Piss. <laughs> There's Dean at the back, so there might be some advanced stuff, but Dean has to go and stand in the corridor at that point. Um, basically, closures are this big mystery. Um, they're an immensely, immensely powerful part of JavaScript. But nobody really understands them probably. People understand them a bit, and they use them a bit, but then you run into all kinds of problems. You've got the Internet Explorer thing, which I'll talk about in a bit. And closures are the one thing which takes JavaScript away from being a very small toy language that you get in a browser and makes it the most powerful language we use today. Right? Not kidding. What there is, I mean, this is about secrets of JavaScript closures, but there aren't any secrets, really. What there is is confusion, and lots and lots of confusion, because closures, closures are a fairly, a, a, a fairly zen thing. The way it works is you don't understand them, and then one day you just achieve enlightenment. Right? <laughs> um, you'll, 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 you'll try and use them, and you read things on the web, and you read books, and you think, oh, yeah, closures, I sort of see the point, and blah, blah, blah. And then one day uh, your brain just opens up, and you understand them, and then everything you do from then on has a closure in it. <laughs> it, it it's, it's like, you know, um, when you've got a hammer, everything looks like a nail. When you know about closures, everything is a problem that gets solved with closures. Um, but that's exactly the way they are. So what I want to do today, hopefully, is give pe help people take a step towards enlightenment. Um, I, I, I doubt you're all going to go away from here with your consciousness expanded, with <laughs> feeling suddenly a lot happier about everything. But if I can help people take one step closer to being enlightened, one, closer, one step closer to understanding how this stuff works, then that's great. And tell me afterwards if I managed it. I mean, the key point about this is that what I'm going to give you is the... Uh, the George W. Bush explanation of closures, right? <laughs> it'll make sense, and it's, it's pretty much right, but don't try it on the ECMA script committee, because it'll probably contain some lies. Um, if, you, if you think, oh, I want to know about closures, um, and you go, go and look them up on Wikipedia or something, what you get is this. Yeah. In computer science, a closure is a function that is evaluated in an environment containing one or more bound variables. Uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nobody understands. This is why it's hard. Nobody understands this stuff. Um, dictionary definitions are useless. I mean, most of you will have seen the dictionary definition anyway. If you're anything like me, you'll have seen it and thought, well, that doesn't really help me understand why these things are so powerful. So, shorter definition. Again, this is, where, this is the bit you don't try on the JavaScript committee because they'll say, oh, that's not the truth. But... This is what it actually boils down to. A closure is where a function remembers what happens around it. If you start off with that in your head, things that happen around the function, that function can remember it. If you start off thinking like that, then you'll be pretty much all right. I mean, the best analogy I can come up with is myself and my wife in our house. Yep. Right. Now, when my wife became my ex-wife, she took all the stuff from the house with her. <laughs> The bitch. <laughs> so, she moved out of the house, but all the stuff went with her. So she still got everything that was, that was there around her. Yeah? So, think of it that way. It's when you take a function out of the context that it's in, it remembers the context, even though it's not there anymore. Let's try that again. <laughs> Woo! 